everybody. Um, so I'm just gonna get like straight into it. Uh, in this video, we're gonna talk about story writing and specifically we're gonna focus on something that Aristotle discussed like all the way back in 200 BC because obviously that's when he was alive. And, and what he talked about when discussing unity is more than anything, just kind of in a, in a theoretical sense, like what is unity and how do you determine if a story has it? And so in his book, The Poetics, this is what he wrote. A plot is not, as some may think, unified because it is concerned with a single person. Uh, a large number of things happen to any one person, not all of which constitute a unity. So it's not like a mind blowing thing that he says in that quote, but What's really good about it is that he sets up um, a distinction that he's about to make. And that distinction is pretty important to his overall kind of way of looking at unity. What he says is, the structure of various sections of events must be such that the transposition or removal of any one section dislocates and changes the whole. If the presence or removal of something has no discernible effect, it is not part of the whole. And so what he does here really well is that he's able to identify unity in such a better way. Um, and I shouldn't be ambiguous by what I mean when I say better. What, what's better about this way specifically is that he gives the writers a way to test out whether or not their story has unity. Obviously, just remove something from the from the story, remove like a scene. If it feels like it really didn't do anything to the story, then it's, it's probably kind of a useless scene. And if it did do something in the story, like when you take it out and like you feel like it disrupted everything, then you probably should leave it in. That what that scene is obviously a part of the unity. Um, the thing is with this analysis is that it helps you figure out whether your story has unity after creating the story. But not before creating a story so it's good for kind of like giving yourself feedback but it's not really that great for um when you're inventing the story and that becomes kind of a problem because typically people aren't just gonna write a full story and then figure out later whether or not it has unity to it if anything they need to figure it out earlier in kind of like the outline of their story um so you know, he, he doesn't really fix that, does he? And of course, his whole theory isn't really about, you know, like his his book, The Poets, and a lot of scholars keep like saying this, <laughs> but his book isn't a how-to kind of guide, right? Um, he's just sort of doing what he does and he's being a philosopher. He's analyzing how a story works. So he doesn't really want, it, it, this whole problem about like, oh, but how do I use this wasn't, even in his mind at all. Thankfully, there is a way to fix it while you're, you know, writing the story. There is a way to um, create unity. And the writers who figure this out are actually the writers of South Park, which I think is pretty interesting. I just don't think that they would be, I don't know, I know they're good. Like they, you know, they've done good things, but I'm still surprised that they really like honed in on it. Um, was it called like they have a really good video uh, discussing like how they view it it's it's very short and it just gets kind of to the point basically what they like point out to is that what you need to do between each scene is make sure you write the words therefore and but so they, they make sure to like really emphasize that they're like if you're writing this happens and then this happens you're kind of like, you're, you're screwed. Um, it's just not gonna work. What really connects the scenes together, if you're writing, this happens, but then this happens, and therefore, this happens. So you see how just by doing that, the story starts to really connect. And that really kind of solves the whole problem of unity. Um, like, like it really, is able, if you're able to just use therefore and but, then you're able to really kind of solve whatever Aristotle couldn't. 
and that's how do you actually create unity and not just um, identify unity and yeah I just think that's the, that's definitely one thing to keep in mind when you're writing a story and that's kind of why I wanted to share it I feel like not enough people know that and it's just really useful honestly and like I, I use it for my own short stories and stuff like that and and one thing that I did with those two words is I kind of broke it down a little bit more but I don't think I should talk about that in just this one video I already discussed enough so I will make another video specifically focusing on how to use the word but and therefore within a story so you know subscribe for that one because it's coming and that's pretty much it for this video so yeah have a good one